Hi, this is Blaine Pertler with Pertler Electric, and I wanted to talk about a specific issue today in stator testing. And that issue is, we've got our specs for our stators. And here's four different stators, just a representative of different types of stators. We've got this is like a ZRT 800, 900,000, um, you know, mid, early, mid 90s to late 90s. This is more or less a, an early 90s stator for like the, the 580s, 550s, 440s, uh, 650s, 700s, and so forth. Uh, this stator here is more or less like a ZRT 600 stator, and this is pretty much the same design for the ZR500, ZR600 of the late 90s. And this stator here you can see is different from the other three. This is representative of maybe like a, a 2000 uh, stator and forward. It's a different design, different gauge wire, and so forth. But the, the, the testing condition I want to talk about today real quick was you go out and everyone wants to know what are the specs for your stators and I have the videos I talk about specs and so forth plus you can look in your manual and so forth but you'll you know they'll give a spec it'll give you a number plus or minus 20 percent something like that so what can happen is let's just take the ZRT stator here for example it's supposed to be 450 and 25 450 for the low speed 25 for the high speed you measure it outside when it's cold you know it's 30 degrees out 20 degrees out and it measures let's say 430 for the low speed and then uh, 24.6 for the high speed so you're like well you know 430 and 24.6 everything should be fine and yet you're still having issues it's not starting all the time it backfires once or twice just a little doggy sometimes what can happen is that everyone wants to know what's the what's the absolute you know range for bad. Where where does bad begin? For the high side of the spec, when you have like four fifty, this is like a four fifty, and actually this one's four fifty also. And then on the old, older stators are like a one fifty, and and there's different different stators and so forth. But on the, on the few that we're mainly concerned about. Whenever it gives you like a high spec, like 450, that's based upon the wire that's on the uh, low speed uh, coil. So it's based on the amount of wire that's on that coil. So you don't all of a sudden go from 450 ohms to 460 ohms on your coil. There's no way you gained more wire, which would give you obviously more wire longer distance, so there's more resistance there. You did not all of a sudden just get more wire on here. If you have a any coil that measures higher than what the spec is supposed to be and they get like I said they give you this plus or minus 20 percent but I'm telling you like if this is 450 and on the ZRT 600s and then the ZR uh, 500s and 600s EFI and carbs low speed coil is 450 ohms if it measures higher than 450 and that stator is at room temperature or you know has sat outside in the garage and the sled has not been run recently and it measures higher than 450 your low speed coil is bad now there's different degrees of bad sometimes it's just starting to go bad sometimes your sled won't even start at all i have tested so many stators that were like 452 ohms 454 ohms 465 ohms all of them were bad. I put them on my snowmobile, you know, way back when I was doing all my testing. I figured there's no way that all these stators are bad. There's just a few ohms. They were all bad. Some of them didn't start. Some of them backfired. Some of them ran for a while, and then you stopped, and it wouldn't start again. So there was, like, all the issues all the guys ever talk about. I experienced those testing all of those stators back then. When you run a stator, they do warm up. So you can't run your stator for a couple minutes, shut it off, check your ohms. Because they will be higher. It'll be 470 and, you know, 28 or something like that. And you go, oh, well, my stator's bad. Well, no, no, no. Let it cool back down to, to whatever the temperature is outside. Or if you have it off a snowmobile, you know, just your inside ambient temperature. And then test it again. The condition I was alluding to at the start of the video is what can happen is everyone wants to know what's the bottom side of that spec. And, I mean, you get these stators that test, you know, 445, 440, 438, 433. It's like, where is that bottom at? My experience has shown me that right around 430, it is at the very least becoming highly suspect. And when you start to get in the 420s on an OEM stator, now these are original equipment manufactured uh, stators here, these OEMs, they uh, once you start getting below 430, like I say, they're very right around 430, highly suspect. You start to get in the 420s and lower. Well, 
I, you know, we, we can almost uh, lay bets that it is going bad. And what happens sometimes, you'll have a stator and it measures a little bit low like that. Let's say 428 and we're not 100% sure. There's good spark most of the time. You know, like I say, you got your multimeter, you're checking, you're like, I don't know, it starts most of the time. It just doesn't run good all the time. And what happens sometimes, if you take that stator off, it's 25 degrees outside, you take it out, and I'm talking Fahrenheit, of course, uh, you take that stator off, take it inside in the house, and it warms up just to whatever, 65, 70 degrees, and all of a sudden, measure it again. And I've had staters come in here where that's what happened. In the cold, I pull them out of the mailbox when it's 25 degrees, they'll measure you know, 430, 435 ohms, bring them in, let them just, you know, get up to 65, 70 degrees here, and then all of a sudden, they measure 452, 454, and you'll never see that in the winter time. You'll only see that if you can get that st uh, the stator up to a more uh, normal temperature, like, you know, something 65, 70 degrees or so, and that's when the condition will show itself. Now, the newer stators, I brought that in because they are, they have a larger gauge, thicker gauge wire. Uh, these stators go bad much much less frequently than the old stators and so forth so there are much fewer troubles uh, with these stators there's l much less fluctuation in the ohms also because of the thicker wire used uh, on the newer style stator so you know if the if the spec is supposed to be 15 ohms in the cold it'll still measure like 13.9 or what have you it's still it doesn't go down to like five or something real low like that so there's much, much less fluctuation with the newer style stators with the wire on here. But that was a condition I kind of wanted to talk about. I get, you know, guys want to know what's the bottom part of the spec, what's the upper part of the spec. And I'm here to tell you, if you have like a 450 or so on these, if it's over 450 and it's at room temperature or, you know, an outside temperature and the sled has not been run and not been warmed up, it is bad. And it's di there's different degrees of bad. It'll sometimes they totally die, and but they, these things will give you all the power they can while they can. They any kind of power they can put out as long as the circuit's completed in there somewhere. It's shorting out and completing somewhere. It'll give you all the power it can. But that's an interest, like I say, interesting as far as when they're cold and they might be 430, 428, and then you bring them in the house and we'll let them warm up, and all of a sudden, 452, 453, and that's how you do know for sure that it is bad. So I just wanted to make a short video explaining that. And of course, if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and shoot me a, a, a message on, uh, on YouTube here or uh, post a comment below and so forth and so on. This is general information, you know, that applies to some staters more than others because of design and so forth so uh, uh, if you ask me questions I do my best to try to answer them but like I say this is just a general uh, general information that pertains more to the Articat staters that I rewind and, and deal with uh, quite frequently here thank you So you end up with something like this, where it's just white, you know, it'll get white, and like I said, the color of the wires is different, and, and so forth, and, and some of the, and once you, if you know the colors, what they're supposed to be, like the colors for this plug here, these aren't supposed to be blue, and so forth, so you can just tell right away, like I say, someone who, like me, who rewinds them all the time, looking at staters all the time, I mean, I know that, uh, that's an aftermarket stator there. So, like I said, just to give you you guys a couple ideas of what is what OEM is supposed to look like and what a stock one or what a aftermarket one kind of looks like, or at least one with uh, rewound bobbins on it. But of course, if you have questions, go ahead and send me a message. Uh, go ahead and uh, send me a picture, uh, something like that, or ask questions, and, and I'll try to help you out best I can. Like I said, I, I pretty much concentrate on the Articat stuff right now, but uh, in the future that, that uh, may change a bit. So it's been Blaine Pertler for Pertler Electric. Thank you.